Hi, I'm Sue Boo bringing crafting to you and today I'm going to make this uh, little box card using uh, the card blank from the Impressions in Ink. So first of all, I've started off where I've actually um, just used the um, ink splat die, uh, die stamp and use the bumblebee and just randomly stamped all over the back so that I haven't got any plain sides. So I've got the plain yellow and the stamp side there. So what we're going to do is bring in the trimmer and first of all we're going to trim off just a quarter of an inch. So I'm lining that up on the long side to bring that just a quarter of an inch I'm cutting off. Now we need this, we're going to use this as well, so just place that on one side, then rotate your card base around the other side and then I'm going to remove my cutting blade and I'm going to position it at two inches. So position it at two inches on the long side. Now this is the cut side, remember, so I've done the two inches and I'm going to score. Your next score would have been four if you uh, hadn't got the score line already in. And then you're going to score at six. And then you're going to score at eight. Okay. So if you were starting this from scratch, it would be five and a half by eight and a quarter now that I've done and you will do two four six and eight as your score lines and then you're going to put it in at two and three quarters and you are going to score all the way down to the end score line not past that score line so I'm scoring all the way down to the end score line so I'll just show you so we've not scored this M piece at all. We're leaving that blank. So we've scored every one apart from that. Now I'm going to bring back in my cutting blade. Now you can do this with your scissors as well. What I'm going to do is put it back in at two and then I'm just going to cut down as far as that the uh, score line let me, that blade's not quite in just let me bring it up again so I'm going to bring it down to my score line in the center which is that two and three quarters I'm going to lift it up bring it along to four and repeat so I'm just cutting down to that score line which is two and three quarters then I'm moving it along to six and again I'm just cutting down to two and three quarters and I, I can't have got that right two and three quarters I need a little bit more to the score line and then in at eight and again I'm just cutting down to that score line so how I know where the score line is, is because on my trimmer blade, I've got a little mark. You see it and that little mark there is level with my score lines. OK, so I'm going to take that out, move that along. Now I'm going to get a pair of scissors and we've cut the top part of this and I'm just going to come in and angle it so that I've cut to that score line and then just a little bit at the bottom. Now I'm going to burnish all my score lines so don't forget you need to, well, in fact we'll cut this first. So we're going to cut this at two and three quarters so I've got my score line in so we're going to cut that at two and three quarters so you should end up with two identical pieces and then we are just going to score three eighths of an inch. Let me see if it's better at the bottom. Yeah, I can see better at the bottom of my trimmer because I'm using the inches. I'm going to score 
three eighths of an inch and then turn it round and again score three eighths of an inch okay bring the next one in and score three eighths of an inch and then three eighths of an inch okay so there we go so we're going to put those to one side and i'll put my trimmer to one side and go back to this so now we're just going to burnish all our score lines so i'm just going to move my pieces out of the way and burnish my score lines In fact, this is where I turn it the other way. So sorry, I'm going to turn it so that it's got that nice pattern. There. So just finish all those downward score lines and this one as well. So that's going to go on the inside. Then we need to fold these back on themselves. So I'll just flatten that one and burnish all of these okay and then just go down the edge of each one of these where you've had your trimmer edges and just make those flatten out so let's put that out of the way to flatten that out put that out of the way to flatten that out and just flatten those then i'm going to round them now you don't have to do this but i'm choosing to do this and i'm going to fold it so that you've got it folded to together and i'm just going to round that one and take it along round that one just keep taking it round and do the, the last one and so and that one as well so all the edges of mine have been rounded there we go and that's going to go down like that and that will be whoops the other way sorry so mine's going to be yeah yes that way that's right sorry about that yeah so these will fold down like that so i'm now going to put a piece of my uh, strong adhesive you can use wet glue, uh, Tombow would be great, uh, the, uh, the actual, um, what's it called, uh, I'm wanting to say fuse and it's not fuse, it's uh, something plus and I can't remember it, oh dear that's terrible. So I'm just going to pop this down and then turn that one onto it. And that should level up there, like that. Let's move that out of the way. There we go. Let's finish that down. Okay, so there we go. And then these are going to come down like that. Okay, now the uh, little pieces that we have done, that I've put on one side, we are just going to bend these. So you're going to bend each one like that and we're going to put a piece of the tape on here as well. So I'm just going to have to cut this straight now because I cut that at an angle. So just cut that straight and take that off my scissors. So put these both down while we do it. Now I'm, I'm really loving this stamp uh, that's come with the Paper Pumpkin kit. Uh, I think it goes well with the artistically inked and uh, it's a good way to try out to see if you like this type of stamping uh, what it um, does to see whether you'd like the artistically inked stamp set as well which i can highly recommend i think it's great and i think it's absolutely an excellent stamp set for beginners as well as uh, avid crafters because it uh, it's so versatile the things you can do with it i've made some fantastic projects so far i have a friend that says you've got to think about being able to get 20 cards out of your stamp set 
and then it's well worth buying it so and i have uh, surely made um, more than 20 cards with mine because uh, i just find it absolutely fantastic uh, it's so easy to do background stamping with it i love the dies that's come with it as well just amazing uh, there we go so just peel your tape off and then i'm just going to leave a little bit from the back so about uh, i'm sticking it from the edge about quarter of an inch in so i'm going to repeat on the other side so i'm sticking it down and in about quarter of an inch so those bits stick on there so that you've got something to anchor your flowers on and i'm going to do the same and bring this on the same level so i've i've done it uh roughly about quarter of an inch down just i'm just eyeballing it i'm not measuring it and i'm just gonna put this one in and come about probably quarter of an inch from the other one to half an inch just make it space a little bit more from the other one so that you've got two pieces in like that okay and now we've got our flowers to decorate so you didn't have to wait for me to do this I stamped uh, some of the images uh, from the set I'll go four. I want to talk about these before I go any further. Uh, so I've stamped the image, but how I've done it is so I've just got this flower, haven't bothered whether it's got this or not. Stamped that image, so I've done it in the yellow, which is the bumblebee, and the even everglade. And I've cut round this, so I've cut off all these bits, so I'm just left with the flowers. Now, what I decided to do, and I've done it um, with the yellow as well as the green, but I wanted to, to show the difference. I think I've got a problem with my uh, alcohol pen. It worked fantastic on the yellow, but when I came to doing the green, it didn't work so well. So I'm not so happy with the, because I stamped in the bumblebee and then I've coloured it with the Everglade. I don't like it as much, but I'm still going to use them because I've done them now. I'm preferring the um, the Ev Evening Everglade and I did that with the bumblebee. Now, I say I used the same pen, so... Um, can't understand why it will work better on the bumblebee i think it was to do with my pen why it was not working properly on the everglade so there okay so we also are going to use um the uh i think we'll use the the actual green let's have a look what yeah because it's still come a different color so i'm going to use the green foliage out of here so i'm just gonna should have pressed this out already but i haven't so let's see let's do in i'm going to get those out i got to get those there and that one there okay so i've got those out to start with and then think about how i'm going to position these on so i think i'm going to have the biggest foliage and i'm just going to cut into that so that it leaves me a nice big sprig and i think i've put the nice big sprig at the back so i'm going to get my glue what have i done with my glue because i haven't had it out have i so what have i done with it there it is i have had it out i'm just going to put some on the back and then put this on the back one i think i'm going to have it 
sticking that way. Now to actually make sure that's well adhered, I'm going to put this on the top and sticking that right down there in the bottom and then I can stick my yellow one. I'm going to stick on the foliage. Actually, I can have it going off to the side, can't I? So I'm going to stick the foliage there. And then I'm going to use the little tiny one. So I've got the little tiny one and I'm going to bring that. I'll stick that now. I'll go for my plan. So to take a little bit out of there, I'm going to stick little bit on there I'm going to pop that the other way and I'm just going to put a yellow flower on this one so just putting plenty of glue on there let's make sure that the foliage is coming up and we've got the, the flower there uh, so we're also going to put some foliage at the back. So I think I'll have that going at the top there. So I'm going to cut this down a little bit so it takes off that. And then pop this, you can pop glue on all of that. And that can go, um, so I'll put that quite see we'll put it down the middle kind of like that and then I can have one of my yellow oh actually I'm going to wipe that off because I'm going to pop that up on a dimensional give it some more dimension so, can I get that there and pop that way up there so I just need to see how this is looking here I want another little bit there so I'm going to actually go for sticking a dimensional on this and then I'm going to stick that at the back so let's make sure none of your dimension my dimensions actually sticking so I'll have to stick something on the back of that so that it doesn't stick on my card i'll sort that out later i'll just have to remember okay so we've got those come in there and i think i'm going to stick one down and that can be stuck properly to the card so we'll stick that going down there and let's have a look uh, I want probably if that can go there and again I'm going to stick a dimensional this time I'm going to stick a mini on this so I'm going to stick a mini a mini on the bottom so if you stick a mini on the front and then position this at the back so that it goes on that bar so it's going on your back bar to give it the flowers and I'm looking where I want this and that's going to come forward so I've just got to have a look where I perhaps want that and I'm, so I'm going to stick a little mini on here as well so stick a little mini on the bottom of there and then that can go out there so I've got that coming like that and then I've got some little flowers so I thought I'd put some little flowers on so I'm going to put a little mini flower and that can go there and another little mini let's see where we can 
stick this so I'm sticking a dimensional on I think that can go right down there and grab another little one and I'm going to stick that up let's see stick that one on there as well uh, I have got another little one so I'm going to stick that on there so that can tuck in behind there so I've got something going off like that so you can see that better now and then you can choose what sort of a card you want that to be um, you could write totally on here or you could uh, put some white photocopying paper on there to put whatever you're going to go on the back um, I I think I keep going with this one but uh, it's the one uh, that I'm liking you are amazing so think I'm going to stick you are amazing on there so let's just um, put my pin in my glue a moment and then get my stamping block and pop you are amazing on it and then use my ink to ink it up just making sure I've got that as dark as I want it oops I wiped that then so it took the ink back off right and then just going to Pop that in the middle then commit to it hold it a second or two and then release it there you go and I put some big mini uh, big dimensionals on the back but I'm sticking to the center because it's going off at either side so just gonna pop that that can go in the middle like that okay so you could uh, I think I've gone and put that wonky see if I can uh, twist it a bit to make it straighter yep there we go and then just with our our uh, sequins we can just pop a few sequins on there and there okay so uh, you could stick them all in the flowers if you want but I hope you like that you could stick some flowers on the end but I'm just going to leave it simple um, I think I might send it as a birthday card so I would stick a happy birthday up in the corner but happy birthday doesn't come with the stamp set so um, you could uh, have thanks or um, sending hugs, um, thanks for everything, whatever you like on there. But I think that's a really pretty card. Hope you like that. That's another alternative. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I uh, do appreciate it. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you uh, don't subscribe, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand so that I can go back live again. So thank you very much for watching and stay safe and stay well. Thank you. Bye.